Stroby Studios presents Michael Helgens and Greg Kilberger in The Watson Files. Coming to you from the illustrious Stroby Studios in the heart of America... This is Craig Dolan. Contact the experts at Stroby Studios if you've been thinking about doing some advertising but are concerned about the cost of recording. You'll be pleasantly surprised with a low-cost, high-quality product that will get your company's name out there. And for anyone interested in creating a website, don't forget about the discounts available at GoDaddy.com for all Watson Files listeners. Simply use the code POD198 for 10% off hosting accounts. Get the details on this and other discounts at thewatsonfiles.com. And now, let's join the doctor and see what story he has for us today. Ah, hello, Mr. Dolan. How are you tonight, doctor? Very good, thanks. I'm quite interested in tonight's story. Good. I like a captive audience. (laughs) I'm sure you do. So, I believe you said tonight's case is about a missing woman. Yes, that's correct. It was an unusual case, as the person we needed to help was not the one who hired us. How so? Well, the man who hired us wasn't actually... Well, I think I'd better just start the story before I give away too much of the ending. That sounds like a good idea. So... How did it all begin, then? I was at work, nearly finished with the afternoon appointments, when I received an urgent call from Holmes. He said that he needed my assistance as soon as possible on a time-sensitive case. I had my secretary cancel the last appointment and headed over to his place immediately. When I arrived, I found a man waiting with Holmes in his living room. Holmes, I came as soon as I could. What's going on? Mr. Yuri Ivanov here needs our help. Well, actually, it is not me so much as my girlfriend. And what has happened to her? Yuri was just explaining to me that she has gone missing. Missing? Well, have you contacted the police? Yes, but they won't do anything since she hasn't been gone long enough. And what makes you think she's in trouble? Well, she was supposed to meet me for lunch today, but uh, when she didn't show, I went to her house to check on her. If you saw her house, you would know that she didn't just go on a trip or something. Hmm. You know, I think that's a good idea. We should go see the house. Okay, I can take you over there right now. Anything you need. I just want to know where she is. Don't worry, we'll find her. I just hope we can do so before anything bad happens. So, uh, this is Sandra's place. It's a mess. See what I mean? Yes, it looks like she was robbed. Or someone was looking for something. Yeah, that's what I thought. What was it you said that she does? She is a reporter. Oh, that's right. I knew the name sounded familiar. She writes political pieces, doesn't she? Yes, that's correct. Hmm, perhaps she was investigating the wrong person. Do you know what story she was working on lately? No, she didn't really like to talk about work much. The bedroom is back here, I assume? Yes, at the end of the hall. How long have you two been together? Um, I I guess it's been nearly a year now. Pretty serious? Well, I like to think so. Do you know where she kept her stories she was working on? At work, I assume. Did she have a laptop she brought home or something? Sometimes, but I don't see it here now. Well, it wasn't a robbery. How do you know? There's jewelry sitting on her dresser. So they were looking for something? Probably some evidence uh, she found while researching a story. I notice you speak English very well, Mr. Ivanov. How long have you lived in the United States? My family came over when I was 16. Okay, so tell us about Miss Robbins. What would you like to know? Anything you can tell us might help. Did she work a lot? Was she an early-to-bed, early-to-rise kind of girl? Or did she work through the night? She kept a fairly regular schedule, but she would sometimes work late when trying to meet a deadline. 
Did she drink, smoke, or have a sweet tooth? Um, no smoking, but uh, she did have a weakness for desserts. What girl doesn't? That's true. And what do you do, Mr. Ivanov? I work in construction. Can you think of anyone else that might have wanted to harm her? Other than the people she has exposed in her stories? No. Is it possible that someone is doing this to get to you? No one that I can think of. Okay, very good. I think we've got everything we need here. Mr. Ivanov, I would suggest you return home and wait, in case Sandra tries to contact you. I have your number. We will be in touch if there are any new developments. Mr. Thomas, thank you for seeing us on such short notice. Yes, of course. You said this was about Sandy. Yes, her boyfriend contacted me. He is concerned that she might be missing. Has she been into work today? No, but that's not unusual. She often disappears for days when she's working on a big story. And what sort of story has she been working on lately? I'm not sure. She just said it was going to make a lot of people mad. Yes, she seems to be good at that. That's what we pay her for. You said it was her boyfriend that called you? Yes, a Mr. Yuri Ivanov. Uh, what do you know about him? Nothing. I didn't even know she had a boyfriend. He says they've been together for nearly a year. Yes, well, she really doesn't talk about her personal life much. I'm surprised she even has time for a boyfriend. She's been working such long hours lately. Hmm, all right. Well, thank you for your time. You'll be sure to let us know if you hear from her. Of course. And why is it that we are watching Mr. Ivanov's residence? Because he's not being honest with us. Based on what? See, look, he's leaving. I thought he was going home to wait for your call. Where's he going now? Exactly my point. Follow him. Where do you think he's going? I don't know. Perhaps he got a call from the kidnappers. Perhaps. But wouldn't he have called us if he did? It's hard to say. People don't often act rationally. Yes, so I've noticed. He's pulling over. Drive on by and pull into that space on the next block. What's he doing? I'm not sure. It looks like he's talking to someone on the basketball court. He's playing basketball? I guess. It certainly looks that way. So, his girlfriend is kidnapped, and he's playing a pickup game. Hmm. Perhaps the winner of the game gets the girl. I doubt it. So, you think he might be involved in her kidnapping? I'm not convinced she was kidnapped. Because... Well, there are two possible reasons for his apparent lack of concern. One, she is not actually missing. But then, why say she is? What does it gain him? I can't see any purpose in it. Or two, she is missing, but she is not really his girlfriend. Or anyone he cares about. But then what reason did he have to be at her house and see the mess? Ah, now you're getting somewhere. Perhaps our Mr. Ivanov is the one that tore the poor girl's place apart. Perhaps, but why involve us? I believe she was working on a dangerous story and went into hiding for protection. Yuri is simply using us to help find her. It's possible, but how can we be sure? Elementary, my dear Watson. We'll simply phone the man and let him know that we found his girlfriend. Hello? Mr. Ivanov, this is Spencer Holmes. Are you at home? Yes, uh, of course. Uh, just like you said. You sound out of breath. Have you been running? Um, yes, on the treadmill. Uh, helps me calm down when I am nervous. Is there news? Well, yes. Uh, we believe we might know where she is. Wonderful. And we think she is safe. We were able to trace a phone call she made. Uh, this is good news. Uh, where is she? 27 West Elm Street. Thank you very much, Mr. Holmes. 
Holmes, that's my address. What are you doing? Don't worry, Watson. It will all be clear soon enough. Now, call Officer Weathers and ask him to meet us around the corner from your place in ten minutes. And what should I tell him is the reason for this meeting? Tell him we have a potential murderer to catch. There he is, across the roof there. With a rifle pointed at your apartment, Doctor. Yes, I see it. Okay, you two stay back and let me handle this. Of course. All right, Freeze. This is the police. Put your hands up. Dispatch, this is 386. I'm in pursuit of a... Never mind. Thanks for the help, Doctor. No problem. I'm always happy to help bring down the bad guy. I did nothing wrong. What am I being charged with? How about conspiracy to commit murder for starters? We'll figure out the rest down at the station. Let's go. Yes, sir. I understand. Well, thank you very much. I'll be sure and tell him. Uh huh. Yes, you too. Goodbye. Well, Holmes, you were right. Ms. Robbins is not missing. That was her editor. He says that he just made contact with her. It seems she is working with a source inside the Russian mob and has been writing a story exposing their ties with a certain mayoral candidate. She left town last night because she was concerned for her safety. And rightly so. Indeed. But there's one thing I'm still curious about, Holmes. What's that? How did you know Yuri wasn't being honest with us in the first place? Well, when he was trashing her place looking for clues to her location, he overlooked the blood sugar log on her nightstand. Ah, she is diabetic? Yes. So when he said she liked to eat lots of desserts, I knew he wasn't on the up and up. Yes, that makes perfect sense now. Of course it does, Watson. It's just simple deduction. Of course. Well, it was a good day's work anyhow. Yes, but there is one problem. What's that? Well, since the criminal was the one that hired us, I doubt we'll actually get paid for our work today. Yes, I suppose that's true. Well, luckily Mr. Thomas over at the paper has decided to cover our expenses for the day, since we saved one of his most valuable assets. Ah, see, Watson, occasionally people can think rationally. Yes, I suppose so. So, Doctor, you prevented a murder this time rather than investigating one. Yes, it was nice to keep everyone involved alive for once. And you even managed to catch a hired killer in the process. We certainly did. The police were able to link him to no less than 15 such murders over the last few years. So, you probably prevented countless other deaths as well. Indeed. So, does next week's story involve any dead bodies? Well, you know I don't like to give away too many details. Yes, I'm acutely aware of that fact. And I'm going to be taking the week off next week. Ah, so in two weeks then? Yes, and on that occasion, well, let's just say that it involves a real estate broker, lipstick, and a life insurance policy. Hmm, sounds very mysterious. Tonight's Watson Files adventure was written by Scott Strosall. Spencer Holmes and Dr. Watson were played by Michael Helgens and Greg Kilberger. Additional voices were performed by Steve Rimpici. This is Craig Dallin saying good night from Stroby Studios.